Hello there, thank you for joining me. Here we are back in Satisfactory and we are going three times speed because this is a recording and I am voicing over it. <laughs> hope you're well, hope you're having a lovely day. Right, so lots to explain, lots of done. Um, basically, I was playing the game when I couldn't do recording of audio, so um, you're listening to the, the sound effects and the music in three times speed. Yay! Right, so first things first, we basically I did loads um, and I, like I say I, I, I recorded the video but I couldn't record the audio uh, lots of things and stuff going on so the first thing we did was uh, I tried to work out why I wasn't getting any um, rubber because I need rubber and um, basically I've started uh, on phase three so here I am just having a look at all the buildings over here in the oil processing plant to try and work out what on earth is going on. So I'm making plastic. That's coming out of there all right. That's full. Flush it anyway. Um, that's all it's got an input. It's got an output. This is all good. Yeah, you'll have to keep up. It moves quick around here. Right, so I find the fluid buffers aren't filling up. I'm not entirely sure why. So, a bit of investigation. Flush it, nothing happens. Not got anything in the pipe. And that's only half full. Why is it half full? Well, that's the question, MG. So there we go, that machine's not actually doing much. So I decide I need to actually do some storage work. Because I filled the belt up with fuel. So, a bit of an expansion here. Stick in a storage. It's an industrial storage, so it should take some time to fill up. Plug that in, everything looks good. That machine's running again. And here we go, we've got rubber going again. Fantastic. Right, but we need to get the rubber back to the base. Uh, haven't unlocked trains yet, so the only way I can do it is with belts. So we'll just do some belt work. Try and make it semi neat and tidy, but it's me in it. It's not going to be neat and it's not going to be tidy. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, if you haven't listened to the music of Satisfactory at three times speed, you are going to now. So this is all simple stuff, just making belts. I've run out. I think what I've done is run out of rods. I've got plenty of steel, but not enough rods. So now I need to go and see if I can find... Ah, I've got no iron ingots. Let's have a look around this little island here for things to mine. Catering. Uh, not seeing any. Oh, quartz, we'll grab that while we're here. More quartz. Do a bit of a scan. Nothing close by. Ah, there we go. That'll do. Grab those, get back to our craft bench. Get some iron rods on the go. Great, okay. Back to it. So I need the rubber because I've started making manufacturing plots. Um, can't remember if we saw that or not in any of the other recordings, but I unlocked the manufacturing I also unlocked um, the dimensional depot as well, which uh, you can just see there on the right. It's got two feeds going into it, just doing a little bit of a test there. I'll show that in another episode, maybe the next episode or even at the end of this one, because a lot has changed. So I'm just trying to belt out to my well, dearest minor manufacturers, you just barely saw them then. There they are. Right, so I'm trying to get them the feeds that they need. This one is going to make modular engines. Don't need that anymore. So yes, yeah, so that's 
needs motors, rubbers and smart plating. So it's got all that going into it now. This next machine, it needs to make um, uh, the heavy modular frame, which requires lots of things. Uh, so I need to plan how I'm going to do that. I think it needs encased beams, so I'm not sure I'm making them anywhere at the moment, but I can see that it needs steel and it needs uh, concrete. Now I've got steel over here. So I'll just expand this a little bit. Because everybody loves foundations, don't they? Uh, so we'll put a belt, uh, belt slayer, a conveyor slayer there. And then that way I can run this belt sort of parallel, parallel-ish. Now initially I sort of thought to myself, well I just need to run them straight into the machine. But, it turns out I need an assembler. So, we'll put down an assembler. Something like that. Uh, that'll do. Then we need to take this belt and plug it in, which don't reach, of course. Don't line up either, there you go. <laughs> uh, and then I need to get concrete into it. So let's expand the foundations ever so slightly more. Uh, around the corner here. And now my concrete's over there, so I need to work out how I'm going to go over there. If I went straight that way, I'd block the hole, so that's no good. So we'll put a lift on here. Uh, about there. Got myself confused here. Checking the belts go the right way. There we go, right. So, I want to come this way. I want to make sure it's straight. And then over here. Again, straight. And then what I want to do is I want to merge all of my um, concrete makers into that one belt because that'll make sure I've got a decent feed. So one goes in that side, one goes in that side, and then the last one goes in that side. Right, that's all the concrete. Get some power, plug her in. So what to do, there we go, right, cased industrial beams, right. The next thing is going to be steel pipes. Now I'm making steel pipes over here, so we'll just lob down a merger and merge these in here. Uh, don't have enough steel. There's some, right? Let's try that again. Now I don't want to really manually lift it, so I'll do lift there and then see if we can get him to come over here and I'll do and then he needs to come down this way now somehow I've got to get him over to the, the manufacturer input, input port so we'll use another lifter and then we'll just sort of drop down here uh, I'm not sure I want it to go in like that though so we'll put in another lift Clipping with the pole, that one. But I didn't put it high enough, so... That'll do. So I need some supports for it as well. I had a terrible time trying to line that up, and it just wouldn't do it. Anyway, so that needs to go in there. Something like that. Okay, so that's our steel beams. Grab that. Uh, what else was next? So we need these actual frames. So we'll split them off. And we'll 
I was hoping to pass it through there straight away, but it didn't line up, so that goes in there, and that's that done. Right, what else do we need? I think we need screws. So I think I'm not entirely sure if it's screws next or not. Um, but yeah, I had trouble lining this one up as well, I'm trying to get it to line up with it. Yeah, sorry, this is the output of the machine. So this is our encased uh, beams. So we'll put that in there, right. Okay, so that's our encased beams. So now we need to sort out screws. So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, how do I make switch more screws? Well, I've got this entire iron plant over here, which isn't doing much at all. So we'll expand that. As you do with our foundations. Look, everybody loves our foundations. <laughs> and we need a load of constructors. Because I was quite lucky and I unlocked early in the game um, with the alternate screw, so I can make them directly from iron ingots. So we'll just put down a, a sort of splitter system. That's that done. Give it some power. Right, so I've got two machines there that are doing alternate cast screws. Great, sorted. Now, gonna have to have an output of those as well. And that's gotta go all the way back to the manufacturer. So we'll do that. More foundations, gotta have your foundations. Right, so, stick in a merge there, merge them, then he comes straight out of here. Now I've got to try and get it all the way back in a kind of neatish way that's not going to be in the way as such, but it's me in it, I don't do anything neat. I made a mistake here, I put them through the belts, but you can still see what's travelling along the belt, along the top of the concrete, so I'm not going to worry about it, I won't lose any sleep over it either. Spaghetti, we like spaghetti. So, more foundations. I kind of decided that I'll probably need to do some more stuff later on. It's really hard to put those down while you're on a jetpack, by the way. I don't know if anybody else finds that. I ran out of concrete. Go and see if we can get any. There's only a few in there, because it's all being sent over to the manufacturer. Oh, I'm sorry, the assembler now. But anyway, so we've got enough to do this. Right, so that should probably be enough for us to do what we need to do. While I'm here, I grab this box. Grab some more steel beam. Right, so, we need to come out of that there hole. And we need to go that way. Probably need more concrete foundations, won't we? <laughs> oh, we love our concrete foundations, don't we? We do, we do. Right, okay, so, just get it to a point where I can lift it over there. Sod's law in it, there's always a hole somewhere. Right, okay, that's that there. Uh, come straight along here. And we want to go down there. Uh, so we'll just put him down here. I think this is Mark II belt now, because I've run out of Mark III material, so it's going to be a bit slow, but never mind. That's all linked up. We should start getting our 
the screws this direction now. Here they come. So, better expand that screw production. So we'll get some cables, so we've got some constructors to be able, be able to make some constructors, should I say. And then we will head over and build this out a bit. So need another one of those. Or five. Or seven. Whatever. <laughs> and then we will sort out our little splitters. And these didn't want to play very nice because they're lining up with the wrong ones. But it is what it is. So I'm just trying to line them up really, trying to get them to work with the belts. That first one's not great. That one's lined up, that's okay. That one lined up, that's okay. That one lined up, that's okay. And there we go, wonderful. They're all lined up, great. Stick some belts on. I ran out of Mark three belts again, so down to Mark twos. Okay, right, so that's that done. And then for the output, we need to merge these. So that's that done. Just need to connect them to the machines. Again, we mark belt, mark two belts. It's funny because so much has changed since I recorded this. Um, <laughs> not changed as such but developed I've done so much more um, but like I said I was unable to record it uh, because well I was unable to voice it because uh, I share my office with my wife who's working so I couldn't do that so yeah so make some of these cables up try and get this powered up We'll copy the settings over and then we'll go back to kind of normal speed for a bit and I'll show you around where we are at the moment. So we'll just copy the settings so that everything's sorted and that's it, off we go. Right, jobs are good. Now we're feeding this machine and that's all good, powered up, making heavy modular frames. Make another pad for the next bit. Okay, right, well, let's go back to normal speed then and I will show you around where we are now, which is like five hours later from this point because <laughs> I ran out of power here. Okay. Okay, so where I left us from, um, I was building this out. Uh, this was making heavy modular frames and the heavy modular frames, as you can see, isn't very efficient because I've got trouble with modular frames at the moment, but that's because they're being made all the way over there and it's not very efficient. Never mind. Anyway, so we are sort of five hours on now from what you've just seen. <laughs> oh dear. Or four hours. I don't know. It's a few hours. So what I did was I extended this pad after I sorted my electricity issues out. Um, I put in another uh, manufacturer here. This one's making computers. Uh, in order to make computers, you need circuit boards. So circuit boards, and then they go into, well, they go into this first one, but they also come in here as well, which is making the adaptive control unit. Um, as you can see, all of these things needed to be fulfilled. Um, so that's where all this wonderful belting comes from. You can see it everywhere now. <laughs> uh, so basically we've got the automated wiring coming out of our storage point going into there. Um, we've got the um, heavy 
modular frames, whatever they were, coming out of this one. Um, this belt's disconnected currently because it was just sticking all the, the frames down there, which I'm not actually using that machine over there, so there's no point. We've got the steel sheet coming in that's required. Uh, down here it goes into the machine making the circuit boards along with the plastic and the plastic is obviously coming from our oil processing plant so that's a huge long belt goes all the way along all right um what else is there so that's, that's basically the machines required in order for us to fulfill uh phase three now as you can see at the top right um, 84 of 100 for one of them and 286 out of 500 for the other. Now I worked it out, it's going to take two and a half hours or something um, if it was 100% productive, but it isn't. You can see this is currently not doing anything and I think it's probably because it's running out of motors. So what I've done is I've tried to increase uh, production um, in certain ways. So with the whole motors thing this here, this machine here, is making rotors. Um, it's overclocked. Um, not really helping us though, as far as overclocking is concerned, but it's doing six per minute, uh, which means three of them are going to this machine over here, and then three are going down this belt here. Now this belt kick takes us over to the other sort of plant, if you like. Yeah, so these machines here. So this one's going in here, and this is making motors. Now again, it's all not very productive because I keep trying to make it productive, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> See, upshot. Uh, but anyway, so all these things are busy doing stuff. This one here is making the automated wiring. Yada yada yada. Uh, and that's about it, really. Um, one of this lot over here are all making um, our cable. Our cable goes through here, up here, and it also goes along a big long belt. Goes down and around and goes over here. So that's all being fed into these machines in order for us to produce what we need to produce. So now you see a few things aren't aren't very efficient. So. It's just a case of waiting, I think, really. Um, in addition to that, what else have I done? Well, I found a uh, catering. There's one down there. You can just about see. Let's zoom in a bit. You see there is a miner there, sat on top of a catering plant, um, ore mine. And that comes down and heads down on top of... Um, these platform here and it comes along here now I've not really done anything apart from just send it into this machine at the moment so it's not really doing anything just making ingots uh, which I can't think of what I'm going to do with the quick wire for the time being so that might be needed in the next phase you never know but what I did do is I did a bit more on the old uh, coal power production because I kept running out of power as you saw just a few minutes ago. So bear with me and I will take you down there. Alrighty, so you'll recognize this area. Um, well, you might do if you've been watching the episodes. <laughs> but basically, this is what I built in order to make encapsulated, um, encapsulated beams, which are uh, grab those because I probably won't need those but anyway they come along over here they go into here and they're making cased industrial beams of which we do need now because I unlocked the level four um, logistics so I've got level four conveyor belts although I'm not actually using many of them at the moment the only place I am using them is over there look at that in the distance there that's our coal plant <laughs> um, again not very efficient but it's, uh, it's doing a job so what I did was I ended up splitting out 
this uh, feed here. And he, he now goes that way. He joins in to this belt here. So I've got three coal being fed. And they're feeding this lot of power plants over here. I say it's not very efficient, but they are currently all green. Oh, all but that one. Yeah, I'm in a war problem. I always have various war problems. This one down, these two down here haven't quite caught up yet. It's been some time since I started these. Basically, they're not getting enough coal. And um, I think that's basically just down to amount of coal I've got coming this way and um, all the machines use it all before it gets here <laughs> anyway they are doing things that's all good um what I did notice while I'm here is this up here requires power so Is the wire too long? Is it odd? Oh, I don't have any enough. Goodness. I'm always running out of something. <laughs> the craft bench there. I don't know if I've got any ore on me or anything there. I've got copper. So we should be able to make some more. Let's grab some of that. Uh, some wire. Gather through those. We'll grab some cable. Oh no, we don't need cable, do we? We've got loads of cable, right? Okay. Let's go back there then. Why is too long? A word? So now I should be able to get this hard drive. Excellent. There we go. Another hard drive. We'll stick that back in on our way back. But yeah, so there's been a few changes, as you can see. I'm just waiting now for that phase three to be fully populated. I'm kind of sort of working on the petroleum power. Um, I'd quite like to get that going at some point. Just because I've not had it before. See what it does. Alright oh, there matey. So yes, yeah, so we're making a lot of progress. I mean it's not amazingly wonderful progress, but it is somewhat progress. And um, there's some of these bulk necks maybe. job of planning that. Anyway, so where were we? We were 
going to head back. I need to show you the uh, dimensional depot as well. Which I said I would do, and I haven't done this episode. It's getting a bit long, I do apologise. Anyway, I'll pause you now. I'm just going to head back to the main base. So, bear with me. Right, okay, we're heading back into the base now. It's big A junction as it is, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's all healthy. It's all healthy-ish. Right, okay, so let's do this dimensional depot explanation thing then. So I unlocked it. It was in the um, MAM. Here it is. So this is what they look like. Um, basically, you can just feed stuff into them. Um, as you can see, so there's no space left in the depot. Um, what that means is there's no space left for this package fuel. So what I did was, so I did a little bit of a test, so the next one should be iron. There's no space in it for that either. So, um, but I'll show you what I mean. Um, hang on. So if I look in my inventory, you can see here, I don't know if you saw this before, but this is basically what's in the dimension dimensional depot. Um, it's full up with iron ingots and packaged fuel at the moment, which means basically wherever I am on the map now, I've got access to 100 ing ingots and 100 packaged fuel if I want them. So I can, um, so I don't need to be anywhere near the depot as such and be wherever I want to be. Say, for instance, if I was over, I don't know, over there in the distance and I'd run out of ingots, it uses them automatically, but I can just move them to my inventory as well, like that. Um, so there, that's that done. And now you'll see what the it does is it refills it back up again. So you've got one of those, two of those, and I'll have another one of those, and another one of those. And the reason that's doing that is because of the way I did this belting. Basically, it's taking a fuel, it's taking an iron, it's taking a fuel, it's taking an iron based on the splitter, uh, which is quite handy. Um, it means you can put multiple things in. So if I had, I don't know, say for instance, the screws over here, um, if I had them split into there, they would do one of one, one of one, of one of the other. Um, in turn as such. Um, I expect smart splitters would be really helpful. Um, initially I was going to connect this um, whole storage facility to it um, and just hope to fill it all up but that didn't really work out so I'm now just diverting. But that's all right. Eventually this storage will run out. And when it does, I'll run out of screws, because this is where I'm building the screws, you see? Anyway, so yeah, so that dim dimensional depot thing, it's really handy. I quite enjoyed playing about with it. I like the idea of it. Um, you can't... Uh, I expect you can do upgrades, but in fact, I think I saw them in the MAM. There's upgrades in the MAM. Um, if you look here, by unlocking research, researching manual depot uploader, so that means I could drop this here and it would manually update into the depot, but I've not unlocked that yet. That requires a bit more materials than I have, I think. But while I talk about the man, I'm going to drop off my hard drive and then I think I'll leave it there. But yeah, I'll leave that scanning. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm, I know it's a bit of a mess, but we are getting there. Um, only a few more to go on the top right there for phase three, so that's another hour or so of it just plodding along doing its own thing. Hopefully I'll keep up power and it stays running. Um, I might AFK for a bit and just leave it doing it. Um, I might even consider trying to find some of those slugs and make some more um, upgrade, uh, overdrive. Or overclock, should I say? And power shots. I think I've used all of my slugs. Yeah, it looks like it.
but yeah, I like that depot thing. That's really smart. The fact that you can just sort of pick up stuff wherever you want. So for instance, if I was to look in here and I had fuel that was in the, the depot. No, sorry, the lolly. If I was to build something um, that required something that was in the depot, I uh, don't think I've got anything that I can show you with. But if I had some, then it would just uh, it would just arrive really. Um, so we are up before we disappear. Just want to show you this as well. So I unlocked oil, oil processing, I unlocked logistics um, four, and I unlocked food packaging. So all those things are now on the go. Um, I'm currently working on petroleum power. I haven't done the monorail and stuff like that but uh, I'm looking forward to getting hold of 7 and 8 just to see what's in there really because I never got that far in the previous game version so join me and uh, we shall see what happens then and we're going to do some investigation wandering around and looking around the place as well now I got a jetpack um, and obviously because I've got my fuel in the dimension depot if I run out of fuel then I can just bring some across and it will upload it again. So I will never run out of fuel, is the upshot. Anyway, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.